Hey, this is Snow Creek Homestead. Today we're doing some grape cuttings. So during the winter, I uh, trimmed up some Concord grapes at a buddy's house. And uh, this is what I ended up with. Put them in, uh, in sand down by the wood stove, which may have been a mistake because they leafed out real quick and uh, all that heat. I think next time I'll put them, just leave them in the garage and uh, let them kind of root and root there. Kind of keeps the leaves off of them so fast. They seem to be pretty good shape. So, uh, I figured I'd just show you what I'm going to do here and how to make cuttings without spending a ton of money here. I got, uh, got the old playground sand. Just out of the, I just bought some sand. It's just easier than going to find a bunch of sand, shoveling it in the truck or whatever. So I bought a 50 pound bag of sand. I probably used 25 pounds in this little, little blue box. Then I've been potting them up. So let's look at a few of the roots and see kind of what they're doing and how I can do something maybe different next time. But if these all take, we'll have plenty of, of grapes. So I just shovel it out here and kind of look at them. Get some small roots, nothing fancy looking roots, but that's what we're going to see what happens here. See if we can get her to keep going. So I got my goat rabbit manure. I can show you some of my goat videos. I bring in roughly uh, 20,000 pounds of uh, hay a year, maybe a little more. And I compost it into a big pile. And uh, this is what my result is. Generally about a year's worth of uh, composting time. I also let it set for about a, it's close to a year over time, maybe nine months. So now this potted up. So let's look at one more here. This was a little bigger diameter one. Let's, let's look at it, see what what we're getting there. Something like that looks like it'd work. So we'll be finding this out. I always do videos to um, follow up and make sure this is what's happening here on the homestead and it ain't some kind of show or what have you. And I got plenty of failures, so plenty of opportunities to learn. So I'm gonna finish potting these up and then we'll just see how many we got. So I'm gonna hit the pause. So, so far we got 27 of these going, and they're, they vary the looks of them. Really not a super healthy looking job, but it does have some root to it. So, like I said, we will follow up on these videos to see what works and what don't. So I guess it's gonna look like that. Then I'm gonna cover that root up. So all I am is a homesteader. I am I'm not a professional propagator, but I will get some of these berries rolling, I, I guarantee it. So these like I say these grapes are they're 27 of them. I should have 50. It looks like almost every one of them is pretty, pretty good. The ones with the hardly no roots, I just pot them up here in a, that back to a pot of sand. And I mean, 
they got some leaves but the roots still don't look real good on them so i'm gonna continue on with these to see if we get more out of them but this thing's almost got 100 percent uh root root right now um really none that don't look like they really didn't take at all so we'll see what happens with this if i get if i get 50 percent if i get 25 of these and they're worth 15 dollars a piece geez how can you go wrong with just trimming up some uh you know some your, your neighbor buddies grapes for him you know we just did it together had a good time and So this is what we're going to do and I'll continue on uh, doing this and uh, let you uh, come along later with the next video or two down the road. Well, I'll do a few videos down the road, probably in the fall. This is uh, spring right now. So in the fall here, we will see what lives and what don't. We'll do another video on it. So I reckon I'm going to continue on and. That's all I got for a day on Snell Creek Homestead. Hey, if I do any good, just give me a thumbs up, will you? Because we need to learn how to grow some food. It's getting pricey. Hey, Snell Creek Homestead, out.